So Barbara Johns is growing up in a town in, in southwestern Virginia, and she's going to a black school. And every morning when she walked to school, she had to go past the white school, which was by comparison a country club. And so she would get to her school and think, what's wrong with this picture? This is, is separate, but it surely isn't equal. And what bothered her the most was not the separation, but the inequality, because she was a smart kid who knew that her future depended on getting a good education, that her ability to achieve success in the world would, you know, would be determined by you know, how, how well she was educated. So she got an idea that she would uh, try to get the principal out of the school. And so she wrote him, and uh, she called him on the phone one morning and disguised her voice and said there were some black kids down in the center of, of the white town and they were uh, you know, causing a ruckus that he better get down there and do something about it. And he immediately got in his car and left the school. She had prepared all these notes to hand out to the teachers that said, bring all the kids to, for an immediate meeting of everybody. There were 400 kids in that school a school that was built for 200 kids. And uh, they all came. Nobody knew why they were there. All of a sudden, Barbara stands up and gives this impassioned speech about the importance of education in their lives and how they were being cheated. And she said, I'm going to walk out of the school right now and walk to the superintendent's office, a white guy, and demand a better school. I'm going to demand a separate and really equal school. And I want you all to come with me. They all walked out. All those kids, they followed her. Not the teachers, but the kids. They got to the superintendent's office and Barbara walked in and said, you know, made her demands about what she wanted. And the superintendent said, you all better go back to school, you'll be suspended. But then Barbara said, no, 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 that's not the way it's going to happen. What's going to happen here is we're going to go on strike and we're not going to go to school until you give us a better school. Well, you know, that part made news. And pretty soon there was a court case involved in, you know, what was going to happen with that school. And some black lawyers in Richmond, Virginia, heard about what was going on and came there and said, Barbara, we want to take your case. That This is, it seems really important to us. But the way that this will work, the only way that you will actually get an equal school will be if it's an integrated school. You know, white people are not going to give black people an equal school if they have to give it just to them. That's not going to happen. So he said, um, you know, let's do a case, let's take this case to the courts and it's going to be about integration. The Ku Klux Klan was up in arms, they burned a cross in her yard, there were death threats, you know, all kinds of stuff was going on. And it became one of the key cases of Brown versus Board of Education. And, you know, that was the case, probably one of the most consequential cases in the history of this country, where our schools were integrated. And that started, you know, with this 16-year-old girl you know, Barbara Johns, this wouldn't have gone anywhere without, unless he'd had cases like this. You know, people who had the courage to stand up against a segregated system and demand something better.